Well, howdy everyone. Uh, today, I want to make a different kind of video than what you're used to, and this is called the 800 pound gorilla in the room. And the reason I'm making this video is because Google has just de-indexed my biggest site, IndoorVegetableGrower.com and slapped it with a spam penalty. Now I want to tell you a little bit about Google. They have 90% of the search traffic, so they are the gorilla in the room. They are also drunk with power. You've probably heard the expression, absolute power corrupts absolutely. So, what happened is, with the with, with the advent of um, AI, you can create a website with a thousand posts on it by pushing a button. And that's bad for Google because they have to crawl those sites with their spiders and that costs money. So they wanted to eliminate that and I understand that they wanted good quality content for their readers and all that but unfortunately there's a lot of collateral damage that comes with that Google has a bunch of sites that they do not apply the same standards to I mean there are sites like um, wire cutter like WebMD, like Forbes, like Wikipedia, like Reddit, that they do not touch with their algorithm updates. And if you're used to using Google search, it's going to change dramatically because they're filling the tops of their pages with AI content so you don't have to go through all the search results to find what you want. And that's okay if you want a quick answer, but if you want to know how to grow cobra lilies, my site has the information, but it's been de-indexed, so you cannot find it, any of my posts, on Google anymore. You can put the website address into the search bar on top of, you know, when you're on desktop, and you, you can find it there, but if you type it into the regular search box, it will not show up. Fortunately, I am also on Bing, and I'm still getting a lot of traffic from Bing, actually more than I got from Google. Um, so I get a lot of searches from Bing, from Yahoo, from DuckGoGo, from Ecosia, all that. These are all other browsers and um, you might want to try some of them. Um, I personally like Microsoft Edge which is Bing. Um, it doesn't track you the way Google does and uh, it's a pretty good uh, browser but I digress. So Forbes for example they can do a review on I don't know uh, can opener or whatever they don't have to actually own the product they don't have to test the product and it goes right to the top of Google meanwhile a guy who's got a, a smaller site who's doing reviews on that can opener actually has the product actually reviews it and all that they get the indexed so there's a double standard there and um, my site has about 500 posts on it. Now, it was built over a period of three years, and about half of them are totally handwritten, and half of them are AI-assisted. Assist now, what I mean by AI-assisted is I create an outline, and then I feed it to ChatGPT, and it gives me content and now that content gets re-edited and fact-checked and used to create a blog post and this is not push button at all on average it takes me about four hours to create 
an AI generated article because I usually add my own pictures if I have them and my own videos if I have one and it takes a lot of time. Now you can imagine um, a handwritten article sometimes would take me a whole day so you can get an idea of how many hours went into building this website and Google just wiped it out with the push of a button but more importantly the posts are valuable and readers are being deprived of the information that they need and um, it's a really sad state of affairs uh, I did send in a reconsideration request but I'm not likely to get reconsidered because Google does not like to admit they're wrong or they made a mistake so my site will probably stay unindexed and that's really sad I mean this site covers everything from cobra lilies to water gardens to uh, how to grow house plants to how to grow vegetables to growing techniques there's a wealth of information on this site and it was taken down just by somebody pushing a button and going de-index now they told me it was pure spam that it had gibberish on it which it does not have that I was cloaking links which I do not do and a lot of other shit and that I was trying to game Google which I'm not I'm just an older guy who has been a farmer for many many years uh, has grown a lot of shit and I know what I'm talking about you know so I'm an expert let's say I mean I don't think I know it all but I I know a lot more than the average person and I share that in my articles so it's not crap content at all and uh, if you're using Google you might want to try a different browser that's all I could say I mean I don't I still use Google but um, I don't use it all the time my default browser is Microsoft Edge uh, I use Google when I want to search a keyword and stuff like that but other than that I I don't use it and if you've noticed the search results at all you'll see that generally the same top sites come up for most queries uh, there's a lot of reddit on there and Google just signed a multi-billion dollar deal with reddit to use their content for their AI training so reddit is way up on top and a lot of times although those posts do have humanly generated content a lot of it comes from people who are trolls uh, people who are trying to gain the domain authority of reddit by using it to promote their own articles or products and a lot of it is garbage to be honest I wouldn't put most of what's on reddit on my website yet they are getting something like I don't know 20 million searches a day or something like that and I'm getting zero on Google so anyway I just wanted to let you know what's going on I encourage you to look for my site and judge for yourself whether you think it's garbage or whether you think it's good content and uh, with that um, I will let you go and I hope everybody is good take good care of yourselves and watch out you don't trip over that 800 pound gorilla okay see you later bye bye